It's the beginning of another trip. Here we go. Yep. Chart's ready. Chart's ready. Yep. It's just sort of like the French canals, really. Yes. Um, this is a little plan of our trip. We dropped the boat in in Mildura and uh, wound our way down the Murray um, for miles and miles and miles, quite remote in that area that we're in there now, until we got to um, about Renmark. So Lock 8 was the first lock in South Australia and um, we wound our way down to Renmark and I think that took us, that was, uh, that was uh, 320 kilometres to Renmark. Um, got fuel in Renmark and kept going and the, this river is seriously windy and you can see there we've got through to Loxton back up again yeah back up again we're going north that's not very fair up to Kingston on Murray and I uh, can't even pronounce Wakery. it Wakery Wakery yeah and across to Morgan and by then it's starting to get pretty populated. So from um, Kingston on Murray basically to Morgan and um, Blanchetown, Blanche Town, uh, yeah, a lot of people, Swan Reach. But at least we're heading due south here and it was uh, it felt like we were going faster. It was a fantastic trip. Across to Manham, it's one of our favourites, I guess, Manham, and down to um, Murray Bridge. Um, Talum Bend. Yeah, Talum Bend there. We just went out into the lake. We wanted to, uh, we went out into the lake and turned around and came back because we left our boat, our truck at Murray Bridge. And we've actually been down to the mouth before, so that was doubling up on what we've done. Caravan Park in Mildura, and that's where our car and trailer is. We'll come back to there. In, by, by car. Yeah, it's uh, 18th of March at uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, and uh, we're just leaving Mildura. Let's see how far we get tonight. It's our first night on the Murray. We've uh, had a very eventful time. The, <laughs> hooked up on a fish, obviously a Murray cod, and it pulled so hard, it actually, it actually broke my bloody... Like I was saying, it actually broke the rod holder completely out of the back of the boat. Anyway, that's my story, the fish that got away. Uh, but I'm waiting for another one. But what, what a beautiful night. Yeah, bloody noisy birds. They can't move without screaming. We weren't quite alone. This is, uh, yeah, we just come around the corner and there's a whole city of houseboats here. This is day two. And uh, where are we heading for, eh? Uh, well, the first thing is lock 10, our first lock. Our first lock is lock 10, okay. And how far away do you think that is? I don't know. Oh, yeah, no. It's great having it. It's not a rail bridge, it's a truck going over it. Oh. Almost got run over by a V double. This is where the uh, Darling and the Murray meet. So we'll go up here to this Cardinal marker and uh, do a hard right and we'll go up the Darling for a little way. On the right hand side is the Murray, on the left is the Darling River. I think the Darling's been a bit flooded. 
and you can see here there's the distinct line where they where they meet. Sense because if someone's coming at you in the way otherwise. At um oh but but anchored. So it was good. No it was calm, no 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 tide, no waves, no nothing. <laughs> Guys pumping. Still got the red light, but uh, locked gates are opening, which is good. Shades of France. <laughs> sort of. Sort of. <laughs> no cute little uh, lock keeper's house, is there? No, no girl to distract you. <laughs> no gardens, no, no pretty girls. Dreams here. We found the um, found the wreck of the sapphire whatever the sapphire was. It's the bow of it in through those trees. Where are we at? We're coming up to Lock Nine, are we? No, not yet. All here first. Oh, yeah. And then there, and then Nine. of locks. It's the lock we've just come out of and uh, this is the overflow. She's still spitting a fair bit of water out but um, apparently it's getting down to almost the right level. Hoisted, we're running free. And then 
he didn't tell me about this part in the brochure. <laughs> didn't appear in the brochure. No, carrying fuel by hand. And they lied in the book, didn't they? Yeah, they did lie. The solution, we've done 320 kilometres on 120 litres of fuel. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> so There's that's a strong not too bad. breeze that's bringing me home. I've been so long away, scarce remember the day when we parted. You stood on the shore, and the tears that were shed, and things left unsaid, and the vow I'd be a sailor no more. But I'll go down to the sea once again. Sweet old girl, that one. Looks like the one from All the Rivers Run. Yeah, it does. Pretty big lock, this one. We went down uh, 2.7 metres. Massive locks. South of Renmark, the river's quite narrow here. Quite shallow as well. Museum at Loxton. How good is this? Situated at the present town roundabout, with approximately 30 children ranging in age. So, what are you trying to teach me? It was a mixed lot for the first two right, okay. to healing. and brothers Mervyn, David, Lance, and Wayne at the age of seven, 1956. Being primary school age, I went past the general store every day. You still sing that? Really? <laughs> yes. It's a nice little chapel. The tall ships leave the docks for places and adventures unknown. And I knew in my heart as soon as I could I would join them when I left my home. And what exactly are you after here, Don? Well, uh, well uh, yabbies, basically. Okay. And, and two different sizes. So these are for the big yabbies and those are for the small ones. Okay. And small. Okay, off you go. Here's the picture of you dry. Okay. Good hunting. Thank you. Thank you. You're going up a little creek here called Blackfella Creek. We got, we got something. Oh, look at all the creepy things. Yeah. Not bad, eh? But I'll go down to the sea once again. Down to the sea once again. There's no other place that I'd rather be. I'll go down to the 
see once again. smorgasbord for the birds. I wonder what the signs were. 1996 man made flood. That's a good one. 1992, 1990. And the top one I can't read. was built by Julian Griffiths of Noosa Marine about three years ago. It's quite a light boat, weighs about one and a quarter tonne, um, well, a bit more load in it. We're driven by 115 
Yummy. Aggie's uh, preparing dinner. Caught a few of those little suckers. About 20 or 30, I suppose. Might have a stir fry. Fold that table down. Quite a good little galley. We had, um, we took out, we had a tub chair in here, so we took that out, and that's all our uh, extra storage for this trip. It's quite good. The hatch up there. Dashboard there, flashing is uh, trim tabs. <clears throat> There's a bow, bow thruster here. And uh, we're just running our depth sounders too shallow and uh, running maps on uh, on the phone. Navionics. Navionics, actually. Yeah, on the phone. It works really quite well. The uh, depth sounder doesn't seem to do it anymore. It should have maps on it, but it doesn't. Fridge slides out underneath the seat here, and uh, spare seat slides out as well, or a table, whatever you want to cut it. Toilet's down underneath the bed there, so we just slide that out when we want to use it. Sit that uh, snag and put it, put a boy on it. Thank goodness. Preserved, if not. No, I reckon it's just you. Uh, heading in the morning. Should be just around the corner here. Beautiful uh, So we're at uh, 3.16 today. And we're going to, well, we'll get down to uh, Big Bend, do you think? 
Well, it might be too far. Mm, the Swan Ridge. Well, at least we'll get the Swan Ridge, I think, today. This is uh, well, that's in the big day eight, day nine, actually. And um, let's see, 20, 26th of March. spot in here behind the trees last night. It was uh, a bit windy and cold so we we tucked in pretty tight. Anyway, we'll get out of here. We're just south of Morgan. It's pretty nice home. We take along this
they're doing. And Lady Ray, she's looking pretty good. Leg of the Murray egg. Pardon? So that's our last leg of the Murray. We've got um, we're about 40 k's down to Lake Alexandrina. Yep. Uh, that's great. I'm going to put this table back down. It's the Talon Bend Ferry. Hopefully, these lights stop flashing. Finally found a uh, dock. In a hotel and a free dock and a hotel so we could have dinner but it's nine o'clock in the morning <laughs> might come back and instead Aggie's making a beautiful smoko and we're doing the weather forecast for Lake Alexandrina and um, yeah. it's a wet flash where are we Aggie oh you want to go to Port Agnes you're up there, there somewhere. Yeah, okay. And we're going to come down here to Port Agnes. It says reeds. It's in the reeds. Yeah, the Port <laughs> Agnes is in the reeds. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll go there. Apparently that's Wellington Lodge. That's the mouth of the lake. So this is uh, Port Agnes mm. uh, at the mouth of the lake. She hadn't looked after the joint, no. that lazy old bugger. 
You used to entertain the sailors, apparently. Look after the sailors, I mean. Very nice lady, apparently, according to the book. About uh, 15 mile across uh, Lake, Sally, uh, Lake Alexandra to Gua, or to the mouth of the entrance into Gua. And uh, it's a very straight run. We're doing about 20 knots when we get going. 